Hey everyone, I'm here backstage with Sam Villa. Everybody loves Sam Villa. <laughs> We're at imagine. Symposium 2013 and uh, 10,000 people are here for advanced education. We wanted to get your thoughts about advanced education, how important it is to the salon industry. Imagine that, 10,000 hairdressers. Yes, you know what? I gotta tell you, education is so critical in terms of being a hairdresser. It's so important to stay on it. Here's what, I'm, I'm so obsessed with education. I'm obsessed with learning. And I think there's always a different way that you can do what you already do. So it's about finding different ways to do that. And it's about going to educational events to do that. Here's what's happening, my friends. You have to understand the world is changing. We can't continue to do things the same way. We have to find different ways to do things. Find different words to use so you get the conversation started again. So instead of saying versatility, for example, say, let's say your haircut has double identity. The client's going to go, what do you mean? It gets the conversation conversation going. How about doing this? Instead of saying, let's cut your hair asymmetrical. No, I don't want it short on one side and longer on the other. What if you said, hey, let's tilt your haircut slightly. Why? Take a look at fashion. Fashion's tilting. These are some of the kind of things I'm going to be talking here about at the symposium in 2013. But more importantly, giving the stylist ideas and things that they can use behind the chair. It's educational value. It's just like your clients. They're looking for more value in today's world. So ask yourself, What's the value, added value that you're doing behind the chair? Or are you doing things the same way all the time? So I'm just excited about what we have to share here. And I'm really excited just about the whole idea of what education does to you in terms of the enthusiasm it builds. How, about a, how about a formula? I mean, do you, if somebody makes $50,000 a year, should she invest 5%? Or if you're making $500,000 a year. What is your formula? What percentage of your income should you devote to advanced education? That's a great question. Here, what about if we did this? What if we said, okay, set yourself up where you say, I'm going to attend three educational events and I'm going to go to one academy. Or I'm going to go to two educational events and I'm going to go to one academy. And so what you do is you figure out what's, those, what's that cost and then there's your money. But you invest in that. So the idea would be, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't know percentage, but I would say, say, okay, my goal is this year I'm going to go to four educational events and I'm going to go to one academy. And when you figure those things out, let's say for in a year, then you start saving and putting that money aside for that. And there is no, I can't afford it. You have to take the time to invest in education in today's world. Uh, Very critical. It's great advice, and it's great for the salon. It's great mm -hmm. for the client. It's great for everybody. It's a win, 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 win. No anyway, doubt. can't wait to see what you're doing here at Symposium. So excited to see you, and uh, we'll catch up with you later on. Thanks, Maggie. Okay. And always, always check out the magazines, and you know which one to check out. Right? Modern Salon. That's Thanks, right. Sam. Modern Salon. <laughs> Talk thing. to you later. Bye-bye.